Hi Libra, welcome to my channel Libra. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Libra sign. Thank you so much Libra for supporting the channel. You have a seven of cups, the high priestess. This is a daily collective reading for you. Let's look into your energy check in. And in the second part of the reading, let us see what is coming towards you, okay? So this, re this reading for today is like a freestyle reading. What is the guided message for the Libra signs? Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Libra, you know what to do. Click the bell and click the subscribe button, Libra. You have the Eight of Wands. You have the Eight of Pentacles. And you have the King of Swords. Um, in terms of, let's start your reading with your current energies, okay? Um, Eight of Wands, this is an Eight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles in here. I feel like the universe and your higher self, Libra, is encouraging you to shift into the King of Swords. I feel like the King of Swords is a very logical energy. It's logical and decisive. Because with the Eight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles in here, it's giving me this psychic feeling that you're chasing Eight of Wands going towards the Five of Pentacles in here. It looks like you're chasing unavailable situation. It looks like you're chasing, waiting, unavailable situation or person. It's also possible that you're keeping a space for somebody or for someone who has left you out. Is it even um, like, is it even fair to keep a space for somebody, for someone who left you out? Okay. Um, and this is blocking your moving forward sight. Okay. The King of Swords, if there is something heavy in the past, and you can close it off yourself, then please do it because it's creating a block for you to move forward, okay? The King of Swords, this is what your higher self would like you to prioritize, is you cannot move forward while you create a space for somebody, for someone, or a situation that's not working or hanging out onto the past in here. You know, like create a space for someone new, for the future, but do not hold something close to you that does not even respond or that does not have growth. It's time for you to be logical, okay? There's something in here that something to do with you can give the ending closure so you can have a new beginning, okay? It's, yeah, two of pentacles in here. It's time for you to give a closure or to give an ending. If they wanted to return, they can return. But right now, you have to close the door. If they will return, they would knock and give you a hard knock to open it. But right now, there is something visually that you have to say or do. Closure, close off. If they wanted to return... They would know your number. They would know what to do. They would have to knock on your precious door to enter and join your beautiful life. Okay? Get a six of wands. You don't have to wait all day online for some of you guys. Leave it. Give it a closure. Accept it. You know? Closure and acceptance. Be logical. This is where you close off the emotional attachment because it's heavy. Also, we have an upcoming new moon in the next couple of days, Libra. We will have a new moon and the new moon is all about new beginning. So be excited to accept a new beginning. You have a king of pentacles in here. Um, you can always recreate or like pursue you can pursue a new connection. You can pursue a new thing that would replace that situation or person, okay? Like, instead of waiting 
or creating a space from something from someone who does not, who disregard you, why don't you allocate that time into something more practical, more productive, or, you know, this king of swords, he looks tired. You're pursuing or waiting for somebody or for someone who is, there's some sort of defect, okay? It's like you're pursuing sadness. Don't pursue people who makes you feel sad. Don't pursue situation that does not give you growth. Pursue somebody or someone that is giving you more happier vibe. The King of Pentacles. Commit to pursue something, someone else. Okay? Give it a closure. The new moon will, will give you the courage and the braveness to roar and say, I'm closing you. If you do come back, you know my number. You know my place. You know my door. So... Yeah, sometimes life is all about endings and new beginnings. And don't be afraid because there's more to come, okay? What's important is that you're not stuck. You're moving forward, okay? Let's see what else is coming towards you, Libra. What can I get for the Libra sign? Nine of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. You see, the minute you close off this chapter of your life to this person's situation... You will become a nine of pentacles. You feel more freer, independent. You feel powerful because no one is giving you a heavy energy, okay? Something heavy that you need to release. Something heavy that you need to release, okay? Because look at that. As soon as you release it, as soon as you detach and release this person, situation, and give it a rest, give your mind, your heart a rest, let go of it. You will feel more powerful and confident because this time around, it's all about you and no one else matters with the Nine of Pentacles in here. Look at that. Look at what's coming towards you, a Seven of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles, the King and the Queen, this is you. You're searching for soon. Soon you will release something and you will immediately start something. Okay, I'm telling you guys, release it immediately. You will be attracting a replacement right away and then you will realize that had i been paying attention to more new more happier vibe it would have happened so quickly so for some of you the next 30 days you would be amazed because with one door closed another one opens and it's a match the king and the queen. Because the seven of swords is here. It's giving me the psychic feeling that as soon as you feel independent of this five, your confidence will grow. You know, you have more time. Your confidence would, you know, grow. You're going to glow up. Then you will find a replacement. And it's a match. It's a vibrational match. It's more committed. It's more supportive. And it's responding to you. And it's giving you the time, the attention that you need without forcing it. In short, you don't have to wait for this person. They're there for you, okay? So you have an instant replacement. So don't be scared to let go. That is one of my learnings in the last two years. As soon as you let go, the more the universe would replace for you. So don't ever, ever be afraid to let it go more will come you will experience more the more you can let go the more you would experience here in life okay okay let's see what else is coming towards you this oh see oh my gosh you have a lover oh my gosh knight of wands the emperor card in here Ooh. so for some of you guys this person probably oh this is very intriguing <laughs> Okay, this is very intriguing because there is a closure, there's a start, and there's a coming back. I wouldn't be surprised. Why? Because Mercury is going to be retrograde for the next at least 30 days. So there's a new beginning, there's a closure, a new beginning, and something you let go will come back. It could also be another missed opportunity that is coming back as a lover. Because... You know, this could be friendship, this could be romantic, this could be opportunity connected to work, okay? 
uh, but this one is heavily romantic and soulmate. So for some of you, the very person will return. For some of you, completely gone, you will find a match. You know, there's something that you search. Right now, I could feel there's something that you're searching. If you accept it, that it's not working, it's time to release it, detach with it, put a closure on it, automatically you will find a replacement. It's like you're too, like you're already funnel vision. You're not seeing this. That's a funnel vision. You're just seeing this. Funnel vision, okay? So for some of you guys, this could be the same person that will return or it could be a completely uh, a different scenario, I would say, for some of you guys because this is heavily a romantic person. They left as a player. They're coming back as a lover in here. Um, it might be an ex or it could be a person that you dated them in the last April to June for some of you, April to July. Um, the Knight of Wands jumping into the lover and they're for someone from the past. Now, I believe this person, they have a new shared energy. They have, yes, you have something in common with this person, whether it's school, work, or life experience. You have a lot of common, like you have, you have, you have experienced things in life, in work, that is very similar to this person. Um, they left, um, I'm really hearing the word, they left as a Knight of Wands, immature, passionate, and... With the Knight of Wands, I feel like this person is like a player, like or very indecisive. Let's put it this way. I don't think they're completely a player, but um, they're very indecisive in the past. They're returning decisively, like a soulmate. And the hidden energy of the soulmates is an emperor. So it looks like this person, they have already made a decision, Libra. Okay? They made a strong decision. Yes, Page of Swords. Oh, my this lover won't stop until they get you back. Whew. But the thing is, they can pursue you for a good one more than a month. If you do not accept this person, they would move on. Because they have they have the energy of the Knight of Wands. You know, they have, like, they're energetic and passionate. I've changed. I want you back, Libra. I'm straightforward. I want you back. I'll pursue you for two months, probably eight weeks. But if you do not wish to accept me, they would move on. Yeah, two of wands. Like this person is giving you, like this person is going to give you two months, you know, of constant, strong, like strong, very strong way of coming back to you. And the eight, yeah, see, eight of cups. Before I even pulled the cards, I'm already getting the energy of this person which is like i'm gonna pursue you for two months relentlessly i'm gonna pursue you for two months your mind libra very intense very passionate and very sincere but if ego or playing hard to get dominates they will understand eight of cups they will move on they wanted to offer this soulmate to you like you're the first like before they offer this soulmate availability, like they want to commit, they want marriage, they want to commit. If if there's a person that this person, if there is someone that this person would like to return as a soulmate, you are that person. They're in a hurry. And if you don't wish to be with them, give it. The, get it they're going to give it two months and then they're going to move on and probably search. Like they're a hunter. With this combination, this is looking for a soulmate. When they think of soulmate, it's you. Marriage, long-term commitment, it's you. So they're stopping by with you, hoping that you would identify that I am now an emperor. An emperor, I have a strong offer, Libra. Take me. If you don't want to take me because there's blocks in here, eight of swords, eight of cups, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Okay? So they're very straightforward. And in a hurry to get your love, Libra. Love and approval. And this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much, Libra, for supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, you know what to do. Click the bell. Click subscribe. And I'll see you soon. You have a great day, Libra. Bye-bye.